Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Dulabik here. So, are you looking for a Photoshop alternative that does not have a subscription? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so in this video we're going to talk about Luminar 3, which is a photo editing software made by Skylum. And uh, this is basically your Photoshop alternative that does not have a subscription. Just a disclaimer, um, Skylum did send me a free copy of this uh, software for me to uh, check out and um, to do this review. However, they're not paying for anything. Um, they have no influence on what I say. So everything you're going to hear is my opinion on it. And um, I'll give you the good and the bad. And that's it. So let's get started and uh, let's jump into the program itself. All right, guys, so this is Luminar 3 right here. It's a pretty powerful photo editing application. So uh, let me briefly go through the main parts of this application. So over here, um, this is where obviously whatever images you have, they will be loaded here. Um, you can add uh, folders here. Um, these are, this is a folder on my desktop here and there's only this one image in it. If there was more, it will be shown here. And then this is just another folder. So you can add as many folders as you want and, um, you know, work that way. So um, let's start with the menu. Um, you've got the usual suspects here um, when it comes to, you know, uh, importing images. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, exporting and all that stuff. Uh, we'll talk about specific things Um a little bit later, uh, particularly install plugins. Uh, this is actually an important thing I want to talk about a little bit later. But aside from that, yeah, it's just standard stuff here. Um, under edit, it's basically just uh, undo and redo, library. You can start a new album, new folder, subfolder, all that good stuff. Under images, you've got the, you know, you can rate the image. You can uh, flip, rotate, all this stuff here, view. Again, pretty pretty similar stuff that you will find in a lot of other photo editing applications. Um, window, same thing, and then help. So that's that. Uh, down here, um, import images, add a folder. So again, standard stuff. Uh, here you can um, you can adjust how to view these images. So you can either have them in th uh, thumbnail or um, full screen. And we're going to work with this image here in just a second. So that's that. Here uh, you have the, um, um, I think this just goes back one level. Um, yeah, wherever you were. I think that's what this is. And then, uh, you know, you can um, set the thumbnail size here. And uh, then once you start working, um, once you open up an image, you've get, you get these um, this tool uh, I'm not sure why it's not working. Uh, there's a few tools in there. Okay, just give me a... Oh, okay, ah, so, oh, weird. Um, actually, before I get to that one, um, there's a, these ones here. So um, you, th these you can just disable uh, these panels. Um, now, this is an interesting one, which we're going to talk about a little bit later as well. Uh, this is actually... Uh, different looks. Um, this is a uh, one I created, but uh, if you click this uh, arrow up uh, button, uh, you get these. Uh, these are different categories, and if you load them up, uh, let's go essentials. Uh, you get these different. They're basically presets that you can still further tweak when you apply them. And um, we're gonna, like I said, talk more about these because this is actually one of those things that make this application shine from a lot of other ones, right? So that's that. Um, let me just close that. And then uh, here, this is, um, if you wanna go to the original, right? Um, I, I only did, I guess I did something to this image, but uh, minor changes, but uh, this will go back to the original right and then here you can see the before and after so that's that uh, and then uh, these are the tools I mentioned uh, again standard tools that if you've used you know Photoshop or any other application you'll you'll know them so that's that and then on this side here this is the library so this is where you're gonna have all the folders that you import um, this is uh, the editing 
um, um, panel and then here's the info so you know you got the info uh, metadata of the image you're working with so that's the metadata here and then this is if you want to share it uh, export it so you got that um, all right, so let's start uh, editing and um, going through, um, you know, all the main stuff. I'm not going to go through everything because there's actually quite a lot in this application, but, you know, we'll touch on all the main things. So first of all, um, I'm just going to close this because when you open it up, this is actually sort of the default look. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, so you got basically just a, a few things but uh, that's okay this is just the uh, the default workspace um, if you click on this um, arrow down you do have these um, again they are custom um, uh, panels or presets so if you click on professional you they're gonna give you different things and um, all of the other ones uh, we're gonna forget about all that and uh, we're just gonna focus on add filters because um, this is this is going to allow me to actually show you everything this application has so if you if you click on add filters and uh, as long as it all is selected look at all this you got all these things to choose from that's quite a lot of stuff so if we start at the top the essentials category you've got uh, this uh, ai filter and uh, this is the 2.0 one which i believe is the newest one they just had an update and I think that's the newest one here. And their um, AI filters are actually pretty sweet. I mean, I don't know what kind of algorithm they got going on, but they're pretty sweet. They will enhance your image, you know, quite a lot. So um, you've got that guy. You've got a sky enhancer, uh, black and white conversion, raw develop, all this good stuff here, vignetting. Um, now, if you want to fix some things, you know, clarity, denoise, all this stuff, that will be in this category here under creative you've got all this goodness here so if you want to add grain if you want to you know work um, shift the hue um, you know soft focus all this stuff would be here and then under professional it's um, just an extension you've got a lot more to choose from you know channel mixer color balance all this stuff you want to add a lot and um, you know all this curves all this stuff here and then under utility you've got more to choose from uh, so that's that uh, so why don't we start with the basics so let's start with the raw develop now once I click on that you get this uh, section over here and this should look familiar to anyone who's done photo editing you know exposure contrast highlights shadows all this good stuff here that's under adjust under lens uh, you can uh, correct the lens um, oh yeah this is what I was actually doing um, so let me just um, click that so that we get the raw image um, so yeah you get that under transform all this stuff so this should now look a lot more familiar right um, and uh, then uh, so we add that uh, what else can we add let me see maybe we'll add clarity I like that one and uh, that's now down here and then uh, maybe we'll add D uh, like that one yeah so that's here so um yeah so let's let's start playing around a little bit so let me see let's crank down the highlights get a little back of the uh, the sky get that a little back um let's increase the shadow just a bit yeah so we get to see here um contrast uh, let's uh, uh, play around with that a little bit uh, exposure maybe just a smidge okay sir so boom 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 clarity I definitely want I want a bit of a stylized look to it uh, okay now let's try the uh, AI accent filter so if we crank that one up what do we get now look at now look at that look at that okay if I go all the way up it's obviously exaggerated but Look at the difference, man. Look what you're getting. Now, uh, let's go before and after. So here's the raw. Obviously, pretty big difference. And here's where we are now. And if we split that, um, pretty big difference. I mean, look at this, man. This is, 
Um, now, I shot this photo with my DJI Osmo Pocket. So it's not even a DSLR or micro four thirds camera. This is the Osmo Pocket, right? It's got basically a cell phone sensor, more or less. It's, it's a bit better, but it's somewhere around there. And, you know, it's obviously underexposed because I was trying to get as much of the sky, right? So this is definitely underexposed, but, you know, look at the difference man look at this this to me right here is where this application shines their ai is uh, again i don't know what kind of algorithm they're cooking at over there but at uh skylum i think it's skylum yeah uh yeah i don't know what they got cooking but man it's uh it's good stuff it's good stuff so let's keep working here let's adjust the clarity here and then um what do we got here so oh i got clarity twice okay see that's good to know so if you want to get rid of a section you just hit the uh x button here there you go um also now is a good time to talk about it when you hover over the header portion of each section you have a few things here now this I here this is the um, hide um, button so if you click that one it's going to get rid of the effect and then click it and again it comes back this will get rid of it completely and then here you have uh, your masks so just like Photoshop you can apply this filter just to a certain area of the image or overall so something to keep in mind um, now let's uh, do a little dehazing okay and uh, now oh this is the one I was looking for the sky enhancer so let's see what happens now if I use that one okay um let's turn this down a bit and then increase this okay and maybe not so much of the dehaze um where are we okay all right i mean this is obviously a quick job as you can see but i'm already liking the difference so let's uh see a little bit more of the uh saturation and the vibrance crank that up you can obviously keep tweaking this uh until the cows come home add more filters and all that good stuff uh now if we go back to the um the uh, uh, looks or the presets here let's um, see what we have here um, so if you go to street you get a bunch of different things here right uh, so if you want a 60s black and white look for example and all you got to do is just click on it and it's gonna apply the filter and boom there you go and uh, right here you can adjust the uh, amount of it and then um well let's um, i'll keep it at i'll keep it 100 percent. that's fine uh and then over here you still have all the presets so you it's not just the amount that you can adjust you can adjust everything here so if you want less grain for example you can do it here if you you know whatever it is vignetting all that stuff so that's a cool thing you have full control over these things and um yeah it just it really speeds up your your workflow which is awesome and um, you can create your own. So if we go under, where is it? User. This is the one I created. And um, if you just click on it, it will apply it. There you go. So uh, it's similar to what what I just showed you, right? Just I added more uh, grain here and all that stuff. So again, if we go before, original, and after, boom. Huge difference, right? And you have, you have full control over all that here. So, like I said, this is excellent. If you don't have Photoshop or, you know, if you just don't want to learn Photoshop, I mean, Photoshop can be pretty intimidating and all you want to do is just, you know, tweak photos. You take photos, you want to enhance them, grade them, whatever it is. This will definitely work for you. No doubt about that. Now, here's the kicker. For a guy like me who basically lives in Photoshop and Lightroom, 
Um, initially, I wasn't sure, well, where does this fit into my workflow? Because like I said, I work in a, in a Photoshop and, you know, it's primarily Photoshop because I also add layers, uh, uh, text layers and uh, graphics and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So how can I incorporate this app into my Photoshop workflow? Well, you can. That's the beauty about this. So if we go back to file, remember I was talking about install plugins? Well, when you click that button, you have uh, these uh, things right now. And uh, initially, this is going to say install. So if you just click install, it's going to ask you to restart this app and um, uh, start it up as admin. It'll do everything. Just click OK. It will restart the app and then go back in here and click it again. And it'll say uninstall, meaning it's already installed, right? Or insta it'll say install here. That's what I mean. Once you do that, Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and uh, let's open up that same image. So we're just open, opening it up uh, just like you would any other photo. Um, here you got uh, the camera raw interface. Let's just go open up image. You could make tweaks to it, but uh, we're not going to do any of that. And I'm um, just going to... So one thing you need to do first is under filter, go and convert for smart filters. So you click that. Yes, that's fine. Now, once you're done with that, go back to filter. And now down here, you've got the Skylum software and there's Luminar 3. So let's click on that one. When you do that, it's going to open up the application again. Uh, however, only this time, everything will look the same except for uh, a couple of things, which uh, right up here, you've got the apply and cancel button because now you are actually opening the application up as a Photoshop plugin and not the standalone application. However, like I said, you have access to everything else. Everything else is the same. So over here under add filters, you've got all of the same filters, boom. And then under uh, looks, you have again, all of the same looks. So let's say, um, just, just to speed this up, let's use that same um, look that I created earlier. So just click on it. It's going to apply to the image. Boom. It's going to look the same way as before. And then let's say we're done with all the tweaks. And now we go apply. And it's going to export the image now. Um, this could take a few seconds or a couple of minutes, depending on your computer. So we'll be back when this is done. All right, so here we are back in Photoshop and boom, it has been applied. But the cool thing is, as you can see here, you've got the mask here. So if we go invert, select a brush, we can now paint this in. Bada bang, bada boom. Oh yeah, look at this beauty. Obviously this is a crappy job, but I just want to illustrate it. This now is powerful this is how i use it and i'm loving it so that's it guys as you saw this is a pretty powerful uh, application um there's a couple of things that i like about it uh first of all uh, i'm i'm in the position where i don't think i'll ever let go of photoshop you know uh, i mean never say never who knows what will come out at uh, some point in terms of software but Photoshop is just, it's one of my top three apps when it comes to, well, basically anything I do. I mean, when it comes to video, um, it's uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Photoshop. I mean, that's the holy trinity when it comes to that, right? And there's others, but that those are the main things. So for me, using Luminar uh, to replace Photoshop just wouldn't work. It's like, you know, I, I need more out of it than what Luminar offers right now anyway. Um, however, using it as a plugin w within Photoshop, now now we're talking. And uh, when I realized that it is also a plugin within Photoshop, boom, all good, all good. Uh, that's when I realized, okay, now this is how I can use it within my um, workflow and all that stuff. And uh, I've been using it actually for, I've had the program now for probably three weeks-ish. And uh, I've been using it in a lot of photos. If you check out my Instagram page um, and also my, my Facebook page, uh, you'll see a lot of photos there. Um, I, I do try to post photos on a relatively frequent basis. And um, yeah, most of those photos 
um, yeah, I'd say most of them, going back a few weeks, have been definitely, um, you know, touched up uh, within Luminar. Um, to me, the main thing that sets uh, Luminar apart from the other alternatives is um, their um, their artificial algorithm, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, you know, the way you can basically, with just one slider, you can touch up your entire photo. Now, obviously, it doesn't work on every photo, but... It works on, on a lot of photos, um, uh, you know, their uh, Sky plugin, um, uh, artificial intelligence plugin, whatever the hell it's called, right? Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool, right? So if you are in a position where you just, you have a ton, you have tons of photos and you need to touch those up and you don't have a lot of time, you know, it can't be faster than, you know, one plugin, uh, or sorry, one slider. Um, so to me, that's definitely a plus. Uh, when it comes to the negatives, um, I have noticed that the software does crash. Um, it doesn't crash, you know, tons, um, but it does crash here and there. So I do hope that that is something that uh, they will, you know, fix. Uh, I mean, that is, you know, easily fixable um, with a software update. And I will definitely, you know, uh, tell them that um, I'm going to give them my feedback, what I think. So, you know, that'll be one of my feedbacks for sure. Um, and, uh, yeah, aside from that, you know, I honestly think this is a, a nice little tool that can work for a variety of people, whether you want to use it as a standalone application. If all you do is just edit photos, I think this will work nicely. Or if you're in a position like me, if you just want to use it as a plugin within Photoshop or within, um, uh, within Lightroom. Uh, it, from my uh, knowledge, it doesn't work with Lightroom CC. It only works with Lightroom Classic. But, um, I mean, um, I think it's, f you know, fair to say that at some point Lightroom Classic will go away. Um, so I do hope that they will have a plugin for Lightroom CC at some point. That will be nice because I do use Lightroom CC when I just want to touch up photos. And because um, again, it's quick, I can do it on my phone and all that stuff. And it would be nice to have this as a plugin within um, Lightroom as well. That'll be that'll be great for sure. And uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I do have a promo code for you guys. They uh, they did send me that the lovely people at Skylum. So if you are interested in this application, and also if you're interested in their other applications, my promo code, which is just Dulabic Studio. Um, will work for basically all of their applications. You'll get uh, 10 to 20 percent off, depending on what it is. So uh, links to everything and promo code and all that will be in the description. So just check it out. And um, yeah, that's it. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Tell your friends. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.